Hello all, this podcast will be about heat transfer calculations. Specifically, um, we're going to talk about specific heat calculations. All right, um, heat transfer calculations are going to help us measure the change in energy or the change in heat. Um, could tell us if the process is endothermic or exothermic. Endothermic being absorbing energy and exothermic being releasing energy. So it'll tell us if one of those things are happening. Um, and the SI unit for energy is going to be joules. So here we see um, our equation, Q equal MC delta T. Q is the energy in joules, okay, so don't forget it's the J. A uh, specific heat we're going to talk to, um, we're going to talk about a little more on the next page, so I'm going to save it. Mass is in grams, and that's M, and then we have delta T. Um, your ten temperature needs to be in degrees Celsius, um, and delta T means the change in temperature, and specifically that is T final minus T initial. You'll have to remember that, T final minus T initial. All right, here is a C, which was specific heat, and specific heat is the amount of energy required to change the temperature of one gram of a substance by one degree Celsius, okay? And you see below that it varies um, for different uh, substances, so it's going to depend on what substance we're dealing with. So we'll pull some of these values as we work problems here in just a second. All right, here's a practice problem. Uh, what is the quantity of energy in joules required to heat a piece of iron um, weighing 1.3 grams from 25 to 46 degrees? Okay, so we have um, our initial temperature, which was 25 degrees. We have our final temperature which is 46 degrees. Okay, we have the um, mass, which is 1.3 degrees, I mean 1.3 grams. And we also know that we're dealing with um, iron, and iron has a specific heat, or C, of 0 0.45 and that was from the previous page. All right, now we're just going to plug in our equation which is the uh, Q equal MC delta T. All right, M mass is 1.3. All right, C is 0.45. And then we have our delta T which is T final minus T initial. So let's go ahead and work out the T final minus T initial part. I apologize, my handwriting's so bad tonight, y'all. All right, so 46 minus 25 gives us a value of 21 for our delta T. So we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna plug that in right there. And we got 1.3 times 0.45 times 21 equals, man, this board is being funky tonight, is 12.285 joules. Now, of course, you should go back and you should sig fig. You see up here the most we have are two sig figs. So we're going to sig fig this down to 12 joules. Okay. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, the next one says how many moles of aluminum um, absorb uh, 1,585 joules when heated from 28 degrees to 68 degrees. All right, so we know let's see, we know our T initial is 28. I don't know why this little mouse thing is being so funny on me tonight. TF, which is 68, 
So we can automatically do our um, T final minus T initial. So you got 68 minus 28 gives us a uh, change in temperature of 40. So this is our delta T right here. Okay, we also know um, Q, which is 1585 joules. And we know C. C is 0.89. All right, so we're going to plug all this into our equation. All right, so we got Q equals M C delta T. Q was 1585. M is what we're trying to find. C, 0.89, and that's of aluminum, and that's from that big list of values. And then delta T, delta T was 40. And now it just becomes a math problem. So you multiply these two numbers, and you get 35.6, and that's still multiplied by your mass. Okay, now you want to get mass by itself. So you're going to divide by 35.6 on both sides. Okay, so 15 point, uh, 1585 divided by 35.6 gives us 44.52. We know mass is in grams, but the question asks us for moles. So we're going to have to come back down here. We're going to have to convert this grams of aluminum to moles. So if you have grams here, you're going to put the molar mass of aluminum on the bottom, which is 26.98 grams, one mole. Okay, so basically you got 44.52 divided by 26.98, and that gives you a value of 1.65. All right, now you need a sig fig. The least we have are two. So we're going to sig this, sig fig this down to two, so we get 1.7. moles as our answer. Okay, 1.7 moles. Again, guys, I apologize for my handwriting and the way my voice sounds. I'm not feeling too swift right now. Bring any questions you have tomorrow.